Welcome to another edition of Grizz Vision. I'm joined by head coach Greg Campy. Coach, a big day for Oakland University. Three recruits coming in. Very, very talented uh, high school players. Yeah, we talked in the spring that this was maybe as important a recruiting class as we've had in a long time. And uh, we've got to refill the the coffers, you know, and, and we we went out and my staff did just one heck of a job. I, I can't tell you how excited I am about uh, signing the three kids that we signed. Um, all three are left-handed, never done that before. All three are top-notch players, one of the best players in the state of Michigan. Um, all three have very versatile games. They can defend, they're athletic, they can score. What I like the most about them is they can really run up and down the floor. They both, are, all three of them, can elevate off the floor. As I said, they're athletic, and you know our style of play. They're just tremendous fits for the way we get up and down the floor. Uh, two point guards, uh, both of them can play together. Though they're they're two point guards that can play together. As I said, they were left-handed, uh, strong. One is a strong bull type. Maybe one will be one of the best re rebounding point guards I've ever had in in Khalil Felder. Um, and then in Nick Daniels, you've got that guy with all the moves, you know, all that slithering, and he's he's very deceptive, and he's got that yo-yo with the ball and can get in. And the thing that I like about all three of them, they're great passers. And that's their personality of being really great kids comes off. Very, very few great passers aren't great people. I just It's a correlation that I'm sure people would say, scratch their head right now and say, what is he saying? But I found that in my coaching career, that great passers are usually great people, and uh, all three of them are great passers. So I, I just can't. I, somebody asked me earlier today about it, and I said, uh, you know, we hit a home run. We didn't. We didn't just hit a home run. We knocked it out of the park with this recruiting class, and I am so excited about the future. And you mentioned the two point guards, and, and Jalen Hayes, a six seven six eight kid who can run the floor and, and can really score at the basket. And Jalen may be a three before it's all over. You know, he he and. I think our system is one of the reasons he came is because he knows that, that he could actually be a three-man before this thing's said and done. I mean, he's in high school, he's the big guy, so he plays the 5-4 for uh, two-time defending state champions. Uh, so he's a kid that's won. Uh, Pershing is, you know, one, one of the best programs in the state, so Kay has won a lot. And Nick Daniels has helped turn John Glenn around. they got a new coach there, and he's done a heck of a job in the last few years and turned that program around. And Nick's been a big part of making that program really successful. So all three of these kids are used to winning and winning big. Uh, and in Jalen's case, you're going to love him because he's a man under there, too. Not only can he run and jump, he's got some strength to him. And you know, we haven't even gotten him in the weight room yet, but... Uh, once he gets in there and, and fills that body out, that kid, I, I don't see any ceiling on that kid. I mean, I think, I think he's got a chance to be as good as there is. So we're, we're just ecstatic about it, as you can tell. And reports on Nick Daniels is he can really shoot the shot when he gets his feet set. And reports on Khalil is he's a tremendous leader on the floor. Yeah, well, Nick, Nick Daniels was playing in a pickup game with professional black basketball players. And... Um, he came down the court at game point. He looked at Brandon Knight, faked the pass to him, and fired a shot, and it went right in the basket. And uh, <laughs> what kind of you know seventeen year old kid's going to look off Brandon Knight and fire it right in the basket to, at game point to win? So uh, well, you got a kid like that, the legend starts to grow. I've heard that story quite a bit. So um, you know we're we're excited to have these kids. I, mean, I really, as I've said, I really really like them as people. I like them as uh, the way they carry themselves and who they are, and more importantly, and the most important thing is, man, they can play. Well, Coach, congratulations on a great day for Oakland basketball, and best of luck for the rest of the season. Well, thanks, Scott. You know, we needed we needed this class. We we've got uh, a, a t our core of our team right now are juniors. We've got five juniors, so that'll allow this class to come in as freshmen, learn from some some very very good players in Monday and uh, Bader and that, and then step in in their sophomore years and just not see a dip in the program. So, as I said, it was a huge, huge recruiting class for us, and we're excited. All right, Coach.